Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess what guys, today we're going to be making a candle. Yes, I know it's been a minute since I made a candle with you guys, but I'm going to make a very special candle guys. I'm going to be using this beautiful, I think this is one of my favorite of the Passion Prince collection that 1617 used to sell. Okay, I think this was called the Safari one. Let me see, I think the Safari or the Animal Print. Anyway, I love it. So I just wanted to make this special candle for you guys. And guess what? This candle is in honor of my birthday. Yes, I'm turning 63 on February 27th. So I'm gonna upload this video a couple of days before, guys. So yes, let's make this candle together, okay? Ah, uh, you know, it's really sad. I really want to show this to you guys. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put a picture, uh, I don't have a picture of it, uh, but I'm gonna give you a close up of the beautiful vessel. Let me just put something white so you can see the print of the vessel once it's filled with wax. You see this beautiful? The animal print, beautiful, very wild. Just the kind of vibe that I want for my birthday, guys. So very masculine. So for this candle, guys, I'm gonna be using two of my favorite fragrance oils from Maple Street Candle Company. Yes, I discovered this company, guys, and they are gonna be carrying all the fragrance oils from 2017. So I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna combine 50-50, guys, because if you saw my previous video reviewing the oils from this company, guys, I'm gonna be using Midnight Blue Citrus. Combined with my dear Watson together, guys, the energy on this is superb, okay? I have it in here and I just wanted to make something special, something new. Oh my God, it's Midnight Citrus, guys. It is so refreshing, so powerful, so inspiring. It's very sexy. Very and then when you put it together with this dear Watson, guys, it makes an, an, an amazing combination, okay? So let me, uh, let me read you the description of dear Watson, okay? A fragrance filled with mystery and intrigue. Top notes of brightening bergamot open this handsome and enigmatic affair. As woody notes add supporting depth to the blend as a whole. Beautiful, very complex, very like, I don't know, very mysterious. Base notes of musk and rich leather complete this unique aromatic masterpiece, creating quite a dignified and thought-provoking scent. The top note is bergamot, middle note is wood, and the bottom note is musk leather. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Oh my God, this combination, guys, you must try, okay? You must try this, okay? And Midnight Blue Citrus, okay? This is a BBW type. The Midnight Blue Citrus is a bold and captivating fragrance that captures the essence of a mysterious and dreamlike night. The top notes of freshly squeezed juicy grapefruit and tangy bergamot create a zesty and invigorating opening, while the hard notes of sweet mandarin and extorted jasmine add a depth of complexity to the scent. Absolutely beautiful, guys. The base notes of earthy patchouli and rich amber provide a warm and sensual finish that lingers on the skin. This scent is perfect for the free spirit who loves to explore the unknown and embrace adventure. Absolutely beautiful, guys. When you combine the two of them together, it's like a big, huge explosion of passion and love and mystery, intrigue, and it makes you want for more, okay? So let's make this candle together, guys. Okay, so let me just put this to the side. Okay, guys, so for this candle, guys, this used to be one of the Passion Prince collection. Okay, the total fill for this candle is gonna be 15 ounces. That's uh, wax and fragrance oil, okay? The diameter of this vessel, let me just read you a little bit of information for the vessel. If any of you guys out there has uh, done any kind of research to see when or where we can get this uh, vessel, we put back in the market because it's absolutely beautiful, okay, guys? Okay, Passion Prince handmade glass is extraordinary, unique, and beautiful. No two pieces are identical and each jar is truly one of a kind. The color is deposited into the glass rather than painted, making this piece both exclusive and durable. Adding wax to this jar creates a beautiful white background allowing the pattern and colors to pop. This glass is thick and strong a candles make a dream. So the exterior diameter is 4 inches, the interior diameter is 3.625 inches, the height is 4 inches, the recommended fill is going to be 15 ounces, like I told you before, the empty weight of the vessel is 16 ounces. The recommend using the container wax that I used to use from them, which is, uh, I use number 7 wax, and I like to start the testing with a double CDN number 4, and this is what I have over here, so this is what I'm going to be using for this beautiful candle, okay guys? <gasps> Oh my God, guys, I'm so happy that at least we can find the fragrance oils. My goodness, I'm so glad that we have access to them. So I'm very happy, guys. Uh, you know, it was, I know it's, it's sad to see the 1617 go, you know, but you know, life goes on and we have to uh, just keep on going in our, in our journey. 
Okay, for this candle, I'm gonna be using number seven wax. Yes, guys, and the number seven wax is available at Hive and Honey. Okay, I'm gonna put all the links down below in the description box. So I have in here 13.5 ounces of number seven wax, and I'm gonna be using 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil for a 10% fragrance load, okay? Now, the way I came up with these numbers, it's kind of, it could be very controversial because people have different formulas, okay, on how to figure out fragrance oil and wax. Okay, so this is the way I do it, and I do it very easy, okay? To me, I, I like to keep life simple and uncomplicated, okay? So if I have 15 ounces total fill, 15 ounces, so I do 15 times 0.10, that's gonna give me 10%, okay? That's gonna be 1.5, 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? So I don't know how much wax we need. Take 15 minus 1.5, which is the fragrance oil, and it gives you 13.5. So I'm gonna be using 13.5 ounces of wax, which is what I have in here, and 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? Now, because I'm using two different fragrance oils, I'm gonna be needing 0.75 ounces of each in order to make a total of 1.5, okay? So let's measure the oils. So I have the pipette in here. In the meantime, guys, I'm gonna put this in the microwave to start warm up. Uh, the ideal temperature for this wax is 220 degrees Fahrenheit. 0.75 of each of these fragrance oils. 0.75, perfection, okay. Okay, so we have the beautiful oils in here. The magic potion. So I'm gonna wait for the wax to come to temperature, guys. And temperature. Right back. In the meantime, I just wanted to let you know, guys, that I am I'm Amazon influencer now. So what does that mean? That means that I have a I created a store at Amazon, guys, that you can find all the beautiful products, all the good equipment that I use for to make my candles. Okay, guys, in including the hot plate induction plate that I have. For those of you that are starting out in the candle making, guys, you wanna start with the double making uh, with the double makers. Just go check it out, store link that I have for Amazon, guys, and you can see all the equipment that I recommend for you, okay? So it would be great if you follow the, the link that will help me out continue to make this uh, content for you. Also, I just wanna let you know that Hive & Honey is carrying the number seven wax, guys, so check them out, and they're also carrying the fragrance oil from 2017. So I have also an affiliate link for them, so I'm gonna put all the affiliate links down below on the description box. And guys, it would really mean the world to me if you can really help me out, you know, and use those links when you go shopping, okay? So I have one link for Maple Street Candle Company and I have another one for Heaven Honey, plus the one for Amazon. So yeah, guys, I just have to, I need your help for me to really sustain me making these videos because it's not really, uh, YouTube is not really paying me that much you know, anymore, okay? See how the wax is doing. I just wanna use it for the first time today, so we're gonna try it together. So let me just turn it on. Okay, this is one I use for cooking. So I'm gonna put all the links down below, guys, if you can get something like this on Amazon also that I have listed on my, can, on my, on my store. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna compare to this, this thermometer to the electronic one to see which one gives me the more accurate information. Okay, so here's the wax. So again, I wanna take it up to 220 at least. So this one is giving me a reading of 216 Fahrenheit. Let's see how much this one is giving me. And this one is giving me 198. You see the difference, guys? So technically, it's too cold to put the fragrance oil. And that's what I wanted to know. I put it another minute, the different temperatures. So this one I trust more because this one it goes all the way to the inside of the wax. Okay, so I'm gonna Hold on to the wax because I want to wick the vessel first. Okay, so having here the passion print, the vessel, guys, and I'm going to be using a double seed in the end number four. And let me see if I can get a contraption that I got from Nordin Candle Supply. I think I'm going to use this better. I clean the vessel with alcohol already. And one good thing to remember, guys, whenever you double wick a, a vessel or triple wick, it's good to place them an inch to an inch and a half apart from the cent at the center of the vessel, okay, guys? This way, it's going to assure that the wicks are not too close to the edge of the vessel and make the glass too hot as the candle burns, okay? I'm gonna link this contraption on the description box too. Okay, it's very easy. I'll take it out and here you go, okay? Perfection. Perfection! Then you press really well because you want full contact and then you just, you can use whatever kind of wick holder you think you, you have to secure them, but I'm gonna use this also. Contraption is also from 1617, which other company has them, I believe. Most candle supplies have this kind of contraptions, guys, that you can secure the wicks, okay? So here we go. So here's the perfectly wick candle, okay? Now let's go back to the wax. Let me just put this to the side. Okay, so let's check again. Let me check with the electronic first. To 26. 
Let's see what this one gives me. 213, okay, it's hot enough. I'm gonna pour different kinds of oil. Okay, let me compare the, the different temperatures. This one is reading 204. This one is reading 217. This one is reading 200 now. 202, 203, 204, 202. Okay, you know what guys, I will just use this. You know, it's, I understand that this one is more accurate, but I, you know what, it's candle making just, don't stress out too much, okay? Just this one is fine. I would personally just use the electronic one, but everybody has different taste. So uh, remember guys, number seven wax, you only have to stir for 20 seconds. And I'm looking for a temperature between 180 and 185. Why? Because I don't want the wick sticks to come off from the, from the vessel, guys. So between 180 and 185 is the ideal temperature for you to pour into the candle. I love using the microwave to make candles, guys. It's, it's so easy. You don't have the mess of having a, to have a, a, a double boiler, you know, it's just convenient. You can just buy yourself, like I did, something very inexpensive. I think I paid like $85 for this microwave at the supermarket but they haven't even smaller than that. So, you know, it's up to you what kind of space you have. And the good thing about it, guys, is because I have a stainless steel table. So the stainless steel, ooh, it gets really warm. It sucks all the heat out from the glass Pyrex. It cools faster. 189, I'm not gonna stir anymore because I don't want any bubbles and I don't want any bubbles. I love number seven wax, guys, because I think it gets, it's giving me beautiful finish all the time. I never get any sinkholes. I always get a good HD after a week curing, you know, also, it all depends on the fragrance oils that I use. Uh, usually the cure time is between one and two weeks, you know, uh, but if you wanna do a burn test, usually 24 hours is, is a good time to start uh, to start doing burn tests, see whether or not the weak configuration that you're using works, okay? See what we're doing right now. Okay, 183, time to pour. Once you start, don't stop. <sighs> Guys, you don't know how, how happy I am that I've come this far with you. You know, I cannot believe that I'm 63. I feel like I'm 25. It's like to me, age is only a number. You know, it's to me, it's all about how you live your life and to do what makes you happy. I think it's, life is so complicated that when you wanna do something for others, you know, just do it with love and just keep on living. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wait for this to uh, solidify and I'll be right back with my final thoughts, okay? Yeah, 63, yeah! Okay guys, welcome back to the end of the video. Okay, so here it is guys, my beautiful candle to celebrate my birthday. <sighs> 63, okay, look how beautiful it looks guys. The finish of the candle is out of this world, like I told you, number seven wax, never fails, okay? And I can tell you guys, the CT is out of this world, okay? I, I love, to me, from all the waxes that I've tried my whole career, which, which has been like for the past five years, guys, this is the one that I, that I truly adore, that is always delivered to me perfection, okay? And again, guys, this candy combination, guys, this fragrance oil combination, guys, it's a dear, my dear Watson, and Midnight Blue Citrus. It's a must have, okay? Equal parts, I highly recommend to you guys then you go and check them out, Maple Street Candle Company, guys. I'm gonna put all the links down below. Please follow my affiliate link if you want to help me and help the channel grow, okay, guys? By you using that link whenever you shop candle products at Maple, St Maple Street Candle Company, guys, you're gonna be helping me make a small commission. At the same time, guys, Hive & Honey, guys, they also have the beautiful number seven wax, okay? And this is the one that I'm using right here on this candle, guys. And also, they also carry the CDM wigs. Okay, so I'm gonna put also the link for having for having honey down in the description box, so you can again you can also help me out. <sighs> Continue making these beautiful candles, okay, guys. So I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. Beautiful candle. I'm not gonna light it up yet because I wanna leave it. I wanna wait for a, at least three or four days, okay, for this to cure. But again, guys, thank you for spending this time with me. And don't forget, guys, don't forget to uh, don't forget to check out my website, CandleRomance.com, so you can shop with my beautiful candles, okay. Until the next video, guys. Be well. I love you. Yeah! Success, success. Happy birthday to me! Yeah!